Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. July is my birthday month, so of course I'm gonna spend this whole month splurging on myself, so I thought I would do some videos and show you guys what I found. I'm gonna start off with, of course, what I found at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, found a few things, so let's just get right to it. Um, so this is basically all skincare and beauty, like most of my videos. So I did happen to find this Kestrel Professional um, brush set. Um, I know I have way too many brushes, but uh, I've been kind of looking out for more like fan brushes because I use these a lot for highlight and for powder. And actually I've noticed this set in the store like quite a few times that I've been there, but I've been sort of like waiting for it to go down um, just cause I think these, the set was originally $6.99 in the stores and I was just thinking it's a little too much for what I wanna pay for just sort of like extra brushes. And luckily it still happened to be in one of my stores and it got marked down to three bucks from $6.99 and I'm sure it's actually worth way more than that. Um, it's a very pretty set. I actually, I don't mind the metallic greenness of it. Um, and I do like the ergonomic handles, but I really just mostly wanted this set for the, um, for the fan brush. It's very, it's very pretty. It's very like, like I appreciate the ergonomic handle and everything. And I actually do like the uh, metallic green. So it's very soft, very pretty. Use it for like powder and stuff, a little bit of highlight. So perfect, can't have enough or too many um, fan brushes. And it also comes with this like defining blush brush, which is also very pretty. And these bristles are so soft. So yay, so for three bucks, I think I really scored there. So let me know, I've never heard of this brand before. I tried looking up online, I Googled it, and um, I really couldn't find anything about the company other than you know they sell it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and maybe some other off-price stores like Nordstrom Rack. So it is hot here in LA. I don't know about you guys, but it's just burning hot here. So that's why I had to film here by the window just because it's so hot. But anyway, then I found a couple more brushes. Um, I did find this crazy looking fan brush. It actually came sealed. I know the lighting's terrible because I'm by the window, but um, this fan brush, it came in this little pouch. It was actually sealed. I opened it because I wanted to check it out. Um, but this, it kind of reminded me, I don't know why, but it reminded me of like Wayne Goss brushes. So it's just very soft and just very flowy. And I like the two-tone bristles there. I think it's just very pretty. It's very well made. It's a no-name brand, as far as I can tell. Please ignore my dog. It's a no-name brand and, Coco, shh, shh. It's a no-name brand, but it's really, it's, it's really good quality. And it was only $5.99. So I really don't know what, what it is or what the retail was, but I just think the quality alone, it's worth way more than that. So it's very big, it's probably too big for highlight, but it's good for like powder, just to like touch up and stuff. So I just thought, very pretty, I will use this a lot. It'll get a lot of use from me. It just, I can't stop doing this, it's just so pretty. Anyway, so there's that. And then I managed to get one more brush here. I finally found one of the Kat Von D brushes from my stores. Um, it's this one, it's the eyeshadow brush. It's actually the only one I wanted. <laughs> it's $5.99. Um, can you see that? I know the lighting's terrible. Um, I tried looking up online what this was and Sephora has her uh, eyeshadow brushes for $24, but I don't think this is the same one. Just, I know this is shorter than the one that they sell for full price. It's like, you know, it's much longer, you know, handle. This is, uh, I think it's more like a trial, like a travel brush or maybe this was part of a set and they're just selling them individually um, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But still, I mean, it's pretty much made kind of the same as the regular one. It's very, you know, nice quality. It's a good brush. Um, can't wait to use it. Um, so for $5.99, it's not bad, down from 24 bucks. So yeah. And actually, I like the shorter handle. Sometimes like when the handles are too long, um, I, I sometimes end up sticking like my, you know, in my palette with it. So I end up getting like dents in my palette. So I actually like the shorter handles. So yeah, for that. So those are the brushes I got. And then I found a few more skincare things. Now, I found another box of this. Now I know in a previous video, I kind of like criticized this product because it comes with a serum, the rollerball serum, um, that is kind of hard to get out. Like, but then I, after I used it for a whole month, I used a whole month's supply of these. Uh, the more you use the rollerball, the more the product comes out. So actually I do like it. And actually it really does make a difference. I actually really like these eye patches. So I was thinking, great, next time I go to the store and I find more of them in clearance, I'm gonna buy them up. So I bought this box, but turns out it's missing the serum. See, you get the four patches and there's no serum in there. So I'm torn. I don't know if I should just go ahead and keep these because I do have extra serum left. 
but I don't know I just feel like $29 for just four patches is kind of a lot so I don't know I don't know if it's worth it the regular price for this is like $125 um, they were $59.99 in the stores um, and then they got marked down to $29 in clearance but it's missing the serum and the serum is kind of the main thing of the product so I don't know I'll probably end up taking this back which is kind of breaks my heart because I think this is a really good product um, but I like you know to sell it with no serum makes no sense to me um, or maybe if they mark that down to like maybe 10 bucks I would buy them like then it'd be worth it but no, not for 29 but on a brighter note I did find a couple more of the Pericone MD moisturizers so this is the OVM day cream um, you can in past videos I was I got all the other Pericone items I got the serums I got the treatments I got the um, firming pads and so now I have I finally found moisturizer so I'm happy to try this I'm really excited I found it um, just because the moisturizers are still kind of pricey at the stores so I'm happy that I found these in clearance for $20 marked down from $34.99 um, this is a $170 cream this is what it looks like it's a I know the lighting is terrible $79, some it's it's a twenty dollar it's a hundred seventy dollar cream that I got for twenty bucks and I like that it's a matted sort of like bottle so I can see it maybe better over here but anyways um, yeah so I'm happy to try this so now I feel like I can try the whole collection and give you a real review of what I think of the product um, so far the Paracone MD stuff is hit and miss with me some of it I like it some of it are is not that great um, not that it's bad but I, I i still think they're like the other higher end stuff is a little bit better and the fact that i'm not paying full price for this helps because i'm just happy i get to try it for you know a discount um so i'm not complaining either that you know i bought this stuff and i got to try it because i'm you know i'm mostly curious then i got a couple more things um actually a few more things i actually found some perfume some donna karen perfume so um this is um, the reason why I bought this is well I, I like the perfume because it's like citrus like floral scent so if you like that stuff you'll like her perfumes because they do have that sort of like light floral citrus scent um, but I do not need any more perfume I have a lot of perfume in these in similar scents but the reason why I bought these is because I like the illustrator and I found it in clearance for $16 each <laughs> um, so here's a better picture of the see so I got this is Brooklyn girl and this is Chelsea girl um, they have very similar scents but I really like the drawing see this is by Donald Robertson he's an illustrator in New York he does a lot of like fashion illustrations and stuff so he did this box where he did the packaging and you can see he signed it you know XO Donald um, this is a $60 perfume that I got for $16 so um, I'm just happy I found it I'll show you what one of and actually I'm even I'm a big fan of the, of the, illustra the illustrator I'm wearing his shirt actually this is the one I got from Nordstrom rag again this is one of his designs as well so I just see think he makes really cute designs so um, I'll show you what one of the boxes looks like um, I'd seen these in the store before I think they were marked down to $24.99 um, that's the price in the stores and that's actually a really good deal again down from $60 um, I was tempted to buy it then, but I just thought, you know what, I really, I don't, I don't need any more perfume. But then when I saw these in clearance, I thought, well, then it's sort of meant to be, so I can't not buy it. So this is what the bottle looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like an apple, because get it, New York, apple. Um, I can't really see it, but it's got that sort of like, like it's got an apple there. But I just love the illustrations. I think it's just so pretty, and it smells so good so i will actually use it and when it's all used up i want to keep the bottle because that's the reason why i bought it so anyway good deal so glad i found these um like only st one store i found these in clearance i don't know why but then that's just how it is in the stores like you know sometimes you find something in clearance and then you don't know why it's on clearance when everywhere else it's just it's still full price so but whatever i'm not complaining um i took that as a sign that you know god wanted me to get them because they were on sale so I got that. A um, couple of Kat Von D things that I got here. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I found the Shade and Light Blush in Sid and Nancy. It's sort of like a pinky corally color, very pretty, and it was $7.99. These are discontinued. These got mixed reviews, and this maybe that's why it's discontinued, but I don't care just because I really like Kat Von D. Um, I like the packaging. This was $25 retail. Again, they're discontinued, but you know, I'm just glad I found it. I know other people are finding it in other colors, um, but this was the only one I found in my stores, and I only actually only found it in one store. I haven't found them anywhere else, but it's just, it looks like this. Again, I really like her 
sleek packaging and I you know I'm trying to collect all the stuff that's discontinued because you just can't get any more and that's what the colors look like um, and it's perfect because I actually I've been looking for like a lighter colored blush so I'm glad I found this so I can't wait to try this and then I was able to find one more of her metal crush eyeshadows these are like the shimmer shadows that are highly pigmented I also I think again these are probably discontinued um, these rate to hold $21 and I think if you go on Sephora there's a few that are on sale for $13 now so again these are $6.99 at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I got the color of Thunderstruck and then if you see my past videos I found another one in Dose which is like a metallic copper color. This is like a uh, pearl, like a shimmer pearl color. Um, very pretty. Um, there's not a whole lot of colors that I like that came in these um, but I do like Thunderstruck. I like Dose and there's one more that I'm looking out for. It's called Thrasher. It's like this metallic gold color. Very very pretty. I found one in one store but it was kind of cracked. And I mean, it was probably fixable, but I was like, mm, yeah, I don't want to buy broken products. So if I find it again, great. If I don't, it's not a big deal. But I am looking out for Thrasher. It's a very, very pretty color. And I think those are really the only ones I want in, uh, in this collection. So the last thing I got, dun, 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 dun. I got this Lorac Unzipped Mountain Sunset Palette that I know I've, I'm seeing these all over the store. They're $19.99. This retails for $42. So that's a really good deal. And you know, Lorac's a really good product or a really good brand and they make really good product. They make good shadows. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of them and I kind of wasn't tempted to get excited. So honestly, $19.99, I really don't need another palette. But for some reason, I was in the Santa Monica store. They had a whole row of these. They were all like full price, except this one was marked down to $10, which I don't know why because it looks exactly like all the other ones on the shelf. It wasn't with the clearance stuff. This was just hanging with all the other regular price ones that were $19.99. And I, I'm like, oh, it must be totally destroyed or you know smashed or something. But when I checked it out, there's nothing wrong with it. It's like, you know, this is what it looks like. It's, um, you know, you open it up, here's the protective, you know, sheet. And um, these are the colors and look, no swatches, nothing wrong with it. It is like perfect, so. Um, I, again, I took that as a sign as, you know, God wants me to buy this because he knocked it down to $10 for me. So I bought it and I cannot wait to try it. And um, this makes my second Lorac uh, eyeshadow palette. So I'll let you know, know what I think of it. Also, I didn't realize too that this comes with a mini eyeshadow primer. See? So good deal, $19.99 for, you know, the palette and the eyeshadow primer. And it's down from $42. So. I will let you guys know what I think of it. And the good thing is, is that I think there's tons of these in the store still if you're, you know, looking out for this. So, yeah. So anyway, that is what I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls this time around. Although I think all this stuff was, you know, a couple of these, oh yeah, it was a good mix. It was half of this was like TJ Maxx, half of it was Marshalls. Um, same thing, because, you know, you should just really, if you want to like, you know, increase your odds of finding good stuff, you need to hit up as many stores as you can. So anyway that is it thank you guys for watching and hanging in there and uh, I'm sorry if there are like weeks when I'm MIA it's just like I'm so busy with work and I'm trying to you know and in between I'm trying to like find stuff in my stores and that leaves very little time for me to shoot videos so I am trying to get as many haul videos out as possible especially because I'm gonna be shopping so much this month because you know it is my birthday and I am going to be treating myself and um, I feel like if I share it with you guys um, then that's really like half the guilt is gone because I'm sharing and that you know helps the world so anyway thank you guys again I will see you guys in the next one bye